Is single or dual channel better for CSGO, Ryzen or Intel? What impact do RAM channels have? To best answer these questions, we need to go over some history. CSGO is almost 8 years old, it was released in 2012 and is running on a heavily modified source engine. Back in 2012, the top CPUs were 4 core with mostly 4 threads. Intel had Ivory Bridge and AMD had the A10. Uh, so it would be logical to guess that 3rd uh, and 7th gen Intel chips will perform the best in CSGO just due to how much optimization they've received uh, compared to uh, more recent generations. AMD on the other hand have been playing catch up to Intel for a while so optimization will not have been more important in the CSGO devs mind when they've been choosing whether they'll update AMD or Intel they're, they're going to choose Intel over AMD most of the time however recently with Ryzen AMD have caught up to Intel and AMD's becoming a popular choice for people building new computers it's becoming popular once again with gamers uh, Ryzen early on was quite dependent on memory speeds for performance so exploring how RAM channels impact Ryzen could produce interesting results. Now, why is dual channel RAM faster? Well, one stick of RAM will use one channel, two matching sticks of RAM will use two times the channels. So a dual channel theoretically has twice the speed. It doesn't always work that way in practice, but you get the gist. For CSGO, or dual channel beat single channel? Yes, it does. From my testing, I've noticed around 10% to 30% improvement with dual channel on Intel's i5-8500. I tested across three different dual channel kits of varying speeds, XMP profile enabled, uh, where possible. So moving on to the Ryzen 2600, uh, Intel's 6 core competitor, dual channel gets uh, around 5% to 10% more FPS with the process lasso running, which I'll get onto in a second. Before going into the Intel vs Ryzen question, we need to discuss Ryzen's chips and program called process lasso. The TLDR with Ryzen is due to Windows load balancing and Ryzen's general CPU design. Ryzen has some intercore latency issues. Issues that hopefully Ryzen 3 is, is gonna work on and improve on. Process Lasso helps Ryzen better divide workloads amongst cores. Recent Windows updates and ongoing game general game updates are slowly improving on this including like BIOS and firmware updates. Process Lasso in CSGO nets around a 7 to 10 percent FPS increase uh, on the Ryzen. With Intel chips Process Lasso doesn't have much effect if any uh, so if you want to compare an Intel chip to a Ryzen chip. Uh, the best way to do that is Intel with no process lasso and the Ryzen chip with process la lasso turned on. Despite process lasso and other Ryzen performance updates, Intel is still beating Ryzen by around 10 to 20% in CSGO. There could be more to this. Testing with the 8 core CPU and testing with uh, different RAM, uh, RAM at different speeds and like different types, different configurations, maybe how to yield some different results. Can Process Lasso ever benefit Intel? That's another interesting question, which would take a heck of a lot of testing to really figure out. Are there any combos that could benefit Ryzen 1st gen or 2nd gen, and how is the Ryzen 3rd gen going to be influenced by RAM and, and how that influences CSGO? Hope you enjoyed the video. Please feel free to double check my math and my Google Sheets particularly. Uh, I'll, I'll link those all below. Um, I'll probably have to redo this video a couple of times just because of my poor, uh, well, my poor ability with numbers. <laughs> Adding and subtracting and dividing. Um, so yeah, like, link, subscribe, bell button, click and clap. Thanks guys.